because Stockholm is notoriously like one of the most expensive cities in Europe doesn't mean you can't do it on a budget. What's up, P Nation? This is our last day in Stockholm, and we want to share with you how expensive the city is. Because we're getting a lot of questions like, how are you affording to go here? Is it really expensive or is it really cheap? And no one really knows the answer to that. We're going to show you. Okay, so the currency conversion between US dollars and the Swedish Krona, or SEC, I think it's actually it's called Krona, is about one to less than 10. So we've been using kind of the conversion rate of one to 10. So one dollar is 940. Five US dollars is just under 50. 10 US dollars is just under 100. Um, we're currently paying 75 US dollars per night so that's 704 krona. Let's talk about accommodation. So Stockholm is massive. You can stay on multiple different islands, multiple different neighborhoods. Each one's a little bit different. So we stayed in one right next to the port on the, if you're looking at the map on the right side, and it's costing us $75 a night. And that's pretty good for Scandinavian prices. You know, if we can fit three people in there, we've got some kitchens, own bathrooms, in a great location right next to the subway it's absolutely perfect but i'm sure you can get less expensive accommodation farther out of the city um but if you're trying to stay like right downtown it could get pretty pricey okay so this is what 75 dollars a night in stockholm will get you a little kitchen equipped with everything you need small dining space perfect bed living area and an adorable little pork. Okay, so we made it to breakfast and we made it to this little cafe. It has street seating, it's really nice outside, and we're gonna show you what they have. Okay, so we're trying out some Swedish treats. Mm -hmm. First we have, it's called a biscuit. Mm -hmm. It looks just like a cookie and it's, supposedly there's cream inside. This was, I think, $2, which is like 20 sec. And then we have a famous Swedish cinnamon roll. But this one isn't really like cinnamon, it's got bergamot on top, and they're just so beautiful. They're like ribbons of dough formed together to make this delicious Danish. It is so cute. We knew it was gonna be good. It's chocolate, it's cookie, it's gonna be good. This is 10 times better than I thought it was gonna be. It's like an egg white cookie. So it's really, really soft, but crunchy on the outside, like crisp. And then it's got this like super thick custard almost. And then a serious coating of dark chocolate. Put that all together. That is so delicious. Bergamot and like maybe like coriander. It's kind of like a chai latte, but in like pastry form. It is so good. Breakfast was delightful and now we are about to take a bus across the city and now we're moving on to transportation. Yeah. So in the city of Stockholm, there, I mean, you can take an Uber, you can take taxis, but public transportation is really your best friend because they have this thing called the, is it the like 72 hour tourist pass. And we're here for 72 hours, exactly. So it was perfect for us, <laughs> um, but it's $27 a person, which kind of sounds like a lot, mm -hmm. but you get access to all the buses, all the subways, all the trains, and ferries. So you get to go across the water and instead of paying a lot of money for that cruise that you wanted to take and like, like be on the water and like see all the things, yeah. you can just like Public get on the ferry. Yeah, and it's all included in your card. It's a little warm on that bus, and so now we are taking the subway thanks to our card. We can do whatever we want. Thanks, Access Card. most big cities. They have a whole mall underneath their subway station. Okay, so now we just made it in the grocery store in the mall in the bottom of the subway and we're gonna show you some grocery store prices like we always do. A package of Oreos costs 23. Raspberries are 29. Water is safe to drink here. However, if you wanna get Pellegrino, it is 13. A can of Coke is 10. A bag of Lay's will cost you 24. A bag of peanuts will cost you 25. 
a Cliff Bar will cost you 25. A package of two Snickers will cost you 12. Ben and Jerry's will cost you between 58 and 65. A large container of hummus will cost you 30. And a large loaf of bread to go with your hummus will cost you 15. These are my favorite cinnamon rolls. They cost 25. Definitely getting some of these. These are the same pastries we had earlier, but they're in a six pack. 27. And a large pack of crackers will cost you 16. But if you want to get the traditional crackers, a large, huge, gigantic pack will cost you 28. And all that shopping has made us very hungry, so now we're heading to the surface to find some food trucks. Okay, so we were on the mission for food trucks and to have lunch, but we found... The people. They must all just take off the summer months and just come I'm to just, the It's every day. the middle of the day. Middle of the day on a Wednesday in the middle of the week and... Everyone's here. Everyone is at the beach. All of stuff. I am so... This is, this is amazing right now. I know that most people are going to come here in the winter, but we are here in July, so it's very warm. Today it's 80 degrees. It's probably why a lot of people are here. But instead of finding food trucks, we found people. Like we've been saying, everything's a bit more expensive here in Sweden. So it's kind of difficult to feed yourself for anything less than like 10 US dollars. But these cones of fish and chips cost 75 sec, and that's about $7.50. It's a good deal. If you're situated in the old town, where most of the tourists really are, and for good reason, because it's awesome down there, you could probably find dinner for like 15 to 20. That's what we were seeing price-wise. 15 to 20 US dollars, so that's like 150 to 200 plus some set. Okay, and we have just been transported from the waterfront to the Old Town via subway, and now we're gonna talk about... Attractions! So I'm not gonna say that Stockholm is super cheap, it's because it's not, it's expensive. Most things cost a lot of money to see. We've been saying that. <laughs> there are some free rooms in the palace you can see, and there are some free museums. Apparently there's eight that the Stockholm City website says are museums, and apparently there's 12 on other websites that they say are also free. So it free. just depends. But there's a lot of free stuff to do. Obviously, if you come in the winter, museums are more inside, you know, to be outside yeah, on the water. Crowded, yeah, well, yeah, it just it just depends on what you're looking for. I know you guys are like, oh, museums. There are other things to do here, like you can take a boat tour and look at the architecture. The city's over 700 years old. And then also on the other side of this island that we're on now, we're looking at an amusement park. Tivoli. And Tivoli Amusement Park is definitely an option that will not be your cheapest option if you're trying to be here on a budget, but it's definitely fun to do if you're with children. Something else you can do is taking walking tours, which is a great way to see the city. Some of them are free. We joined a free one you just walk up they're doing it you join the crowd or you can take paid ones you can find ones on airbnb's website and we even saw a ghost walking tour which i think would be so much fun. so much fun in addition to attractions there are plenty of churches around stockholm they're about three to seven dollars depending on which one you want to go in but they are all very beautiful like this one has dragons on the spire so much fun Okay, so we have now made it to the waterfront. We're in front of the palace and we're going to show you how much of the city you can see for free on a ferry.
So now we've come to the Stockholm Library, which is of course free to enter because it's a library. Let's go check it out. one whole day in Stockholm for two people you know the average comes to like something around $155 and that's for two people that's for the your Airbnb your attractions your breakfast lunch and dinner and transportation so we're trying to say here is just because Stockholm is notoriously like one of the most expensive cities in Europe doesn't mean you can't do it on a budget two people $155 a day isn't breaking the bank if you're only here for a few days and that about wraps it up thank you so 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 much for watching our video I hope you have a better sense of how expensive of the city is when you come visit Stockholm. Yeah, it's been a great day. In addition to attractions, there are plenty. And that about and that about wraps it up.